Hey everyone, it's your boy JB, and today we'll be talking about the life of rising trombone superstar Peter Moore. What makes his life as a trombonist unique was that he became the youngest ever to accomplish two things. How did he do it? Stick around until the end of this video where he shares several bits of advice that any musician can learn from. Welcome to the Trombone Channel. This is the life of Peter Moore. <laughs> Peter Moore grew up in Northern Ireland and was born into a musical family, all of whom played brass instruments. His parents at the time were professional French horn players, which is no longer the case today. Growing up in Northern Ireland, his family often attended brass band concerts in the park, and at those concerts, the trombone caught his attention, and then he decided he wanted to be a professional trombonist. His parents initially advised against the idea, but after Peter insisted, his parents relented. He started playing the trombone around the age of six or seven, which is the equivalent to being a first grader in school. To accommodate for his small size at the time, he started off on alto trombone and eventually moved up to tenor trombone. When he was eight years old, he and his family moved to Staley Bridge, about 10 miles east of Manchester. It was likely around this time Peter enrolled at Chetham's School of Music located in the heart of Manchester, where he studied under Phil Goodwin. It is the largest specialist music school in the United Kingdom. By the age of nine, he was already principal trombonist of the National Children's Brass Band of Great Britain. He also eventually made his way up to being the solo trombonist of the Wingates Brass Band. At just 11 years old, as solo trombonist of the Wingates, brass band, he helped the band achieve second place in the elite division of the 2007 French Open Brass Band competition. In the following year, Peter would set his sights on the biggest solo competition for young musicians in the country. At the age of 12, Peter decided he would compete for the BBC Young Musician of the Year Award. This is a biennial competition for young musicians living in the United Kingdom under the age of 18. Even as amazing of a trombonist he was at the time, a trombonist had won the competition only once since it started in 1978. The competition itself is done in five audition stages, taking place over an entire year. In the final stage, you are performing in front of a professional orchestra in a live televised event with many cameras pointed at you. Being the age he was, if Peter were to somehow win this competition, he would be the youngest ever to become the BBC Young Musician of the Year. Here's how it went down. He passed the regional auditions. He passed the regional finals. He passed the quarterfinals. He even passed the semifinals. May of 2008 came. Thousands of musicians had vied for the title of BBC Young Musician of the Year, and it all came down to these five finalists. Look how short Peter was compared to the rest of the competition. That was because everyone else was at least five years older than him. But when it came down to it, these were his final performances. Thank you. 
now, the BBC Young Musician of the Year 2008 goes to Peter Moore. <laughs> Were you annoyed when Peter broke your record at, as the youngest ever BBC Young Musician winner? I thought you would never ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now's the time. I've got Peter on my screen, I've got my fists ready. <laughs> um, yeah, that, funnily enough, that does follow me a lot, you know, on radio interviews. I'm like, so uh, you were the youngest ever. I, I'm actually not the youngest ever anymore. Um, so. <laughs> I was really annoyed, but then I met him and then I realised, oh, I can't be annoyed. How can you be annoyed when you hear me play? <laughs> I, I would say, actually, you know, it, it is interesting sort of having competition success at that age, um, because you don't really know what it's all about. I, I certainly didn't know what it was all about yet. You know, I was just kind of getting going and you don't think too much, you just play. And I think there are a lot of challenges that come with having you know success in a competition at that that young definitely you know because you still want to grow up as a as a human being after winning the bbc musician of the year award peter moore's trombone career exploded he gave recitals all over the United Kingdom as well as performing concerto solos with many orchestras throughout the country. In 2009, he embarked on a five-week long tour of Australia and was featured as soloist of the Slide Factory, the annual European Trauma and Festival in Rotterdam. <laughs> The next year, he recorded Edward Gregson's Trauma Concerto with the BBC Concert Orchestra. In 2012, he graduated from the London Symphony Orchestra's year-long Brass Academy where he studied under Ian Bausfeld, former principal trombone of the orchestra. In January 2013, he won the win section of the Royal Overseas League competition. And in 2014, two really big things happened for him. First, he was selected for representation for the Young Classical Artists Trust, which is basically a five-year-long scholarship package awarded to its artists so that they can afford traveling expenses to share their musical talents around the world. And on May 29th, 2014, at just the age of 18, he became the co-principal trombonist of the London Symphony Orchestra, which made him, at the time, the youngest member of the orchestra ever, a position he still holds today, now as principal trombonist. Throughout the rest of his life, Peter continued to play solos and recitals all over the world. In June of 2018, he released his first album, Life Force.
As Tramos with the LSO, Peter was involved in a number of recording projects ranging from movies to video games. At some point in time, he became one of several trombone professors at the Royal Academy of Music in London. And when the pandemic hit, Peter participated in several interviews about his uprising as a professional trombonist. In these interviews, Peter outlined several important lessons that helped him get to where he is today. Uh, both. Don't pretend that they're not there. Acknowledge them, accept them, and learn how to build them into your performance. The main way that I would approach practice is, contrary to, to belief maybe, is that not to do too much. You know, it, it, quite often you can panic and think, oh, I'm not really prepared enough uh, for this recital, recording, whatever it may be. And then you can do too much and actually bruise your lips. And um, it's kind of, I suppose it's having the balance between doing enough and not doing too much. Um, so it's difficult, it's difficult, and you have to make sure you don't, you know, you look after your lips, don't get any footballs in the face or anything like that. I feel like it's almost a, a responsibility of mine and others that are fortunate enough to be in the position to do this, to actually bring the instrument to new composers, new audiences, new composers, so they, they sort of see what might be possible in the future. Do you prefer classical music or movie music? I'm interested in all music that is good. I don't like this sort of segregating music into certain categories. I think if it's music, it's music. And I think, you know, part of the thing we should be doing now is, is sort of maybe knocking down those barriers and just calling music, music. Um, so the simple answer is, um, I don't have a particular preference. I've always been careful not to um, neglect my true calling, which I think is probably the standing up the front and sharing my instrument with people. That's what I've always been really passionate about. And if anything, I, I probably feel more comfortable doing that than I do sitting in the orchestra. If you guys enjoyed this video biography of Peter Moore, please hit the like button and subscribe for more trombone content. Let me know in the comment section who I should make a video biography of next. Thank you for tuning in to the Trombone Channel. I will see you in the next one.